massive leg bits. Look at that. Whoa. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. It's Iron Man time again. Let's get in. Straight in with episode 39, because this month, of course, we've got 39, 40, 41, and 42. We have got left shin guard. We have got hinge and bracket. I remember that. That was a, an old show. Crikey, not seen that in years. Uh, we've got instep protector. And we have got some screws. So I have a sneaking suspicion that we'll be fitting the instep protector and the uh, hinge and bracket, or hinge bracket, sorry. <laughs> so with the plastic cast aside <clears throat> and our trusty screwdriver, we take our instep protector, we take our big massive shin piece and we fit this like so. And we can see that that hinges in and out like so. Oh, we like it, we like it. Look at the size of that. And then we take our hinge bracket, which naturally fits, can only fit one way, one way round because it has some little cut out portions. So that clearly fits like so. I will check, just to be sure, just to be sure, because, just because I have been wrong before during this build. It, uh, it's, a, it's a rare thing, but it has been known um, once or twice or three or four or five times. And I'm right in this case. So we take one of the two screws supplied. We fit that in like so. And look at that. <clears throat> I can't resist doing this. I can't resist doing this right now. I don't know if we're going to be doing this in, in this, this particular episode, but obviously that goes like, look at that. Oh, amazing. Amazing. We like it. So. That, ladies and gentlemen, is issue 39. Moving swiftly on, issue 40. Whoops, knocking things around. Issue 40, we've got a plastic bit, which is all fancy shaped. We've got a metal bit, which is curved shaped and presumably sits, fits inside here somehow. Uh, oh yeah, I think that's, that's, that's gonna kind of all form part of the foot thing, I think. I might be wrong. Oh, we'll, we'll find out in a second. I might be wrong. Um, <clears throat> we have got two packets of screws, E-M, I-M. Let's find out what we need to do. We need a bit of, excuse me, we need a bit of thigh, a bit of iron thigh. Um, Okie dokie. Uh, those halves technically are, are not not assembled yet, I don't believe, but uh, we'll, we'll pop those in. Bit of iron thigh, iron thigh, nice. And this bit, like sir, like so, yeah. Um, which makes the knee. Let's take this, this half off a moment. Save it getting scuffed up and what have you. And this bit goes onto here like so. Onto, you see the uh, screws there. Like so. Oh, on you go. Come on now, come on. Behave yourself. And we need two IM screws to secure these parts together. I should have got those out first. That would have made sense. And, oh, that's strange. Oh no, I was gonna say, strangely we've got three, but we don't, we actually have. Uh, let's try that again, shall we? I was going to say, strangely we've only got two. We don't, we actually have three. I was just, I'd, I'd missed one. 
I, I, either that or I wasn't counting right, I don't know. No, I had this one, one had, one had kind of hit the bench and rolled, so. But yes, there were three in there. There's always a spare, just in case, just in case. Very nice of them to provide a spare. Because there's nothing worse than while you're building your armour to become a world-class superhero to find out that you've got a screw loose or missing completely. Next, ooh, we need a foot, we need a foot, something is a foot. We need a foot. Oh, I'm liking this. We are getting leg together, much leg. Heap big leg. Um, we need the metal bit, we need the foot, and we need the complete leg thus far. So, laying this out thusly. This goes onto here, as I showed. And then this bit goes onto here. So you see you've got a big sticky up thing for the screw there, and you've got these two posts down here. This goes over here. Whoops, where are you now? Okay, okay, yep. Yeah. So that actually sits quite quite proud um, up in the leg there, as you can see. And it uses three EM screws. So that leads me to conclude by my super duper Sherlock Holmes style detective reasoning that this bag will contain four. And well, would you Adam and Eve it, it does. What do we do next? We take this bit and it sits there. We don't do anything with it just yet, but we will because that is clearly going to fit on there like that, I reckon. Episode 41, we have got some detail bits. We've got the fancy bits with the wire that you can see when the, the, um, uh, air brake flappy leg bits lift up at the back. We've got some levery things and what have you, which, you know, these are the kind of things, the little pistons and stuff that could be nicely highlighted with a bit of a bit of a wash, which something we might do later. Who knows? Who knows? We'll see at the moment. I'm just going to be building it. We've got a couple of packets of screws and we've got these detail bits. So let's see what we do next. So we take fancy detail bit. We take frame leggy flappy air brakey bit, we feed this through here like like so. We've got two holes up there which align with these holes here. We've got one down here which aligns with this peg here. And we wiggle that through in such a manner that fits onto there, clips, there's a couple of little clips there where my thumbs are, which hopefully you can just see, it snaps into there. That peg fits into there. And then, obviously, we've got a couple of screws that grow into, grow, that go into there. Uh, let's have a look, let's have a look. Two IP screws, IP. I'm not even gonna make the joke this time because because it's, come on, it's, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not doing it, I'm not. Um, you know, there we go. Two IP screws into plastic. Um, next we take uh, the leg and we use three EM screws. And this, as suspected, does actually go there. It's got little cutouts there for the hingy bits there. Presumably those hingy bits are going to be the hingy bits that the the flappy leg air brakey bit goes on. Uh, notice I know all the technical terms. I tell you, I could have I could have built one of these suits myself uh, if I happened to have um, you know a laboratory, um, millions of dollars at my disposal, lots of gold, titanium alloy, and uh, and obviously the know-how. So you know, with just those additional things, I could have built one of these suits myself in a lab. 
<sighs> but seriously though, wouldn't, you, wouldn't it be cool to be able to just have a, a suit that you could, it just just the flying, you know, I'm not, not bothered about the weapons part, that's, that's not really necessary, although, you know, We've got that bit fastened at the back, and that bit, as you'll remember from the movies, when he's doing the flight control surfaces test, and all the bits are flapping open and closing and hydraulically moving and everything, you can see all this kind of uh, pipework and everything underneath the armour. Um, so that's that bit. What's next? What's next? What's next? Ooh, this is exciting. This is exciting. It's a good one, this. There's lots of bits. I like this. Um, right, let's move some things. Let's put that spare screw EM into, into the. Let's pick up some, some bits of plumbing. And let's find out where these go. Oh, yes, these are the bits that go at the top, of course. We've got uh, four of these, of course all the same. We've got one hydraulic -y, um, suspension thingamabob and we've got a brake servo. All these go in go in this away. So whoops these are all, these are being fitted, just press fit, and they're going this way. So, like so. Oh yeah, these, these would actually be quite easy to, um, to add a little bit of a wash, something like a null oil or, a, or just, a, just an oil wash, you know. Just to kind of make the, um, the detail on those pop a little. Right, the camera cut out at some point during that. I'm not sure where. Hopefully, hopefully, um, it caught this bit here where we're putting these hydraulic pieces on here, which just push fit and fit in that orientation. The next piece to go on is this bit that looks like a cross between a two-stroke cylinder and something that would have been used on an early episode of Doctor Who. And this goes up here, and it has a little half-moon shaped cut out so it can only go in one place into the little half moon shaped hole. Full moon, half moon, total eclipse. And then next we get the bit that looks like a uh, master cylinder and that goes this way up with the two bits pointing up that way and this fits in down here. I was wondering if these might have been easier to fit while uh, before this this bit was screwed on. Uh, possibly, I don't know, especially this one. This looks like it's going to be fun. Oh, come on. Oh, actually not so bad, not so bad. It's gone in. A little bit fiddly, a little bit fiddly, but it's gone in. And then we are left with this uh, suspension strut. And this fits, this fits in this orientation with these pins facing downward and they fit into, ah, that's it, yep, they just fit into the holes in this curved frame like so. There we go, there we go. Right, these instructions here are very slightly confusing and a little and not the clearest but if you look at the sort of breakdown of it here and and here it makes it much much clearer much much clearer and much easier to understand and um, there you go had I realized that at first I wouldn't have wouldn't have struggled so much looking at these and thinking where does that go um, right come on now so these are a little bit tricky because this plastic bit, of course, wants to flex as you're pressing in these pins. So I'm not going to go crazy at the moment, pressing those in. But there we are, we've got some detail. We've got some hydraulic piston strutty type uh, flappy bit things. So uh, yeah, again with the technical detail. I know you're impressed, I can tell. Much to your surprise, that leaves us with episode 42 
and the back of the leg, the flappy bit in question. And let's see what we do here. Let's just stand this, stands up on its own. Ah, I'm, I'm really, really amused and excited by the simplest things I am. I really am. Look at that, fantastic. Fantastic, stand over there, leg, iron leg. Okay, so what have we got? We have got heel support plate. We have got rear leg armor. We have got heel pad. We have got friction discs. These are difficult to see. They're small, tiny, clear plastic washers. Uh, can I zoom in? Can I zoom in on those? Can you see them if I do? Who knows? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's focus for you. Yeah, you can just about make those out. Little clear plastic washers. Excellent. So we'll zoom back out. And then of course we've got some screws, EM screws. So, 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 so. We take first and foremost, the rear leg armor and the heel support plate. And this fits into, oops. This fits into here and like so. Uh, it's not the best fit in the world. That's a little bit tight, but maybe once it's fastened in. Ah, oh, yeah, maybe once it's fastened in. Uh, it's actually not bad, no. No, it just, I think I've maybe not had it pressed in fully. Yeah, that's not bad. <clears throat> okay, so that's in there. We then take the heel support plate and this, obviously, goes across this hinge here. Uh, let's see. So I don't know if it goes a specific way, but it seems that there's one side is flatter than the other. Does it go like so? I think it does. I think I would say the flat side goes down. I don't think it matters enormously, but I think the flat side goes down. Two EM screws. In this bag we have, we have, how many do we have? We have, oh, one, two, three, four, five. We've got five, so obviously we're going to be using four of these. So we use two to fasten this heel support plate because it's screwing through the plastic heel support plate, but of course screwing into the metal of the leg, rear leg armor. Now that doesn't seem to want to hinge. So I need to investigate the whys and wherefores of that. So I will be back shortly. Right, with a little investigation, I have noticed that there are burrs inside this slot down here where this hinge fits in. And I'm thinking that that is probably part of the reason that when it's clamped down, if, I don't know if you can see there, but rather than just rotating, these aren't fitting right the way in. And rather than just rotating, it's actually lifting up. Oops, so I'll get that in focus for you. It's, um, it's really difficult to see, but it's, it's not just rotating, it's kind of lifting up inside there. So I'm going to have a poke with something hard and metallic in these slots to try and smooth those down and open them up a little bit and see if that does the trick. Scooting back in, um, you can see now we're hinging and flapping and all is good. It doesn't close up quite as tight as I would like at the moment. So I am going to, at some point later, trim this a little bit more. But what I did is I took a scalpel and I basically just um, carefully machined out the groove, the U groove, uh, by carefully machined, of course, I meant I poked and scraped at it. Um, good thing is scalpel blades are nice and cheap. 
hardened steel, do make sure you are wearing some form of eye protection. I wear spectacles anyway, so, um, but uh, the tip of a scalpel blade snapping off and pinging into your face is not a pleasant thing, so do be careful. And in addition to that, I also scrape the seams of the plastic hinge pin on this here and this uh, I'll have to say so far this is the very first time and we are 42 magazines in and this is the very first time I've had to modify a part because it didn't work uh, as it's as it should when put together it was just literally a little tight so it's just that this wouldn't move so a little bit of modification and anyone who builds plastic model kits will be used to that kind of modification so there you go I will as I say uh, before this is all secured properly. For now, I'm just going to put it together for the video, but I will um, clean that up a little bit more just so that it it does close up a bit better. There, but that's not bad. That's not bad. I can live with that for now. That's good. That's good. So, scooting back up here and sorting that focus out for you. What we do next is turn the page and we get iron leg back and we start placing things into position like so oh, oh, oh look at it it's coming together oh it's so good so good ah oh, so exciting so exciting i'm like i say i'm easily pleased what can i say and we need two I believe two do we put two underneath or just two on the top I think it's just two on the top so we need two of these plastic washers yeah that's right because we've only got three in the packet and whoop, pop one of those back in the packet and two EM screws which of course works out precisely correct because we have three left in the packet. So we take one of these plastic washers, drop that in there, could do with the tweezers for this, but I can't actually be bothered to get up and, and, and pick them up because I've got my lav mic wired to me and I'll probably drag half the bench away with me, which would be highly, highly embarrassing, but albeit amusing for the viewers so sorry to disappoint you on that one so a plastic washer screw and into this one we go as you can see we've got flappy flappy bit we've got other flappy bit like your air brakes your control surfaces thingamy doodad Look at this, it's amazing. We've got shin protectory flappy bit, we've got hingy toe bit, we've got uh, foot back and forth and slight wiggle side to sidey bit. Oh, this is, this is so much fun. This is so much fun. Um, so and we've almost got a full leg, look at this. This is so cool. Oops. Um, so yes, I'm assuming the next, um, the next magazines are going to cover the remainder of the thigh pieces and some decorative pieces uh, because there's obviously a decorative piece to go on the shin here and then obviously there's another piece to go sort of back here and, and cover all that bit but that is really coming along look at just so good look at that look at that and the size of it you, you were really starting to get an idea of the scale now because you know that's a 30 centimeter or 12 inch ruler Okay, so, you know, it's a foot, that's a foot long, well, the foot isn't, the leg, the leg is a foot long. It's, um, yes, marvellous. Thank you once again, dear viewers, for putting up with my uh, childish excitement at building this, this marvellous, marvellous uh, Iron Man figure. And that's the build for this month, so let's do the boring magazine bits. And uh, we'll just pop this leg to one side. I'm going to need a bigger storage thing for all my parts now. There's no way the leg's going to fit into the, the box that uh, all the other bits are in. That's, it's too big. Damn. 
Ah, stay put. No, I'm going to have to take that off. Okay, so. Bags of screws to one side. We'll sort those out momentarily. Magazine 39. Submarine Argonaut. Uh, disassembled. The end of an era for Iron Man. And cartoony bits. And, whoops, is that focused? Let's focus, just to make sure. An evil influence. Stark tells the Avengers that he honestly has no idea what happened to him. <laughs> you know, who knows, eh? Uh, Captain America, Iron Man, etc., etc. Hulk. Uh, build a bits. Build a bits. Happy Hogan, tough guy, faithful friend. And, of course, uh, every, we all know Happy from the movies. And uh, it's a great character. Lots of fun. Looks slightly different in the comic book. More of a sort of uh, macho, blonde, tough guy kind of guy. I don't know. Mm. Anyway, there we go. It's cartoon bits, cartoon bits. Submarine Argonaut underwater armor. Underwater Iron Man. Oh, and there's the Submariner. Is that, yeah, Nam Namor Submariner. Kind of rings a bell from, uh, from when I was younger and I used to see the odd comic book. Um, episode 40 with a really nice picture of the actual armour that we're building on the cover. The Threat of Ultron. So we've got a movie bit in this one. And a still from the, uh, the start of the movie where they're all flying into battle. Um, and, uh, you know, the, it's the one where, uh, where Captain America does the language thing and everyone mocks him. And then we've got Hulkbuster, which was very, very cool. Um, Age of Ultron, it's a weird one. I wasn't massively over enamoured with that particular movie. It was okay, but it wasn't certainly wasn't what I would consider one of the best ones. But it did have some good bits in it. So there's a lot about Ultron in that one. Ultron Triumphant. A History of Defeat, and we've got comic book related Ultron stuff. Uh, more comic book related stuff with some strange Iron Man armour with huge hip pad thruster things. Uh, I'm not sure what that's going on. Oh, no, well, that's sure what that's all about. Blah, blah, blah. About, about. Um, episode 41 Stealth Argonaut. M is for mutant, alternative reality. Obviously, we've got some uh, X-Men mutant stuff going on there. Cartoony stuff. Um, Iron Man faces a death match. Um, da, 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 da. Sapiens death match arena. Okay, don't know anything about that one. So, uh, obviously, one of the comic book storylines. Build a bits. The Ghost, a history of vengeance. And more comic booky bits. A supervillain's reputation. Stealth Argonaut, invisible to radar. And it looks surprisingly like many of the other Iron Man suits. So I'm not sure why that's invisible to radar when the others aren't, but who knows? And finally, magazine number 42, Hydro Armor. The Illuminati, a clandestine council. Um, cool cover art on that one. I like that. Very good. Uh, yes. And then we've got some cartoony bits. We've got Billy bits. The Thousand Worlds of Tony Stark. Multiversal. So we've got various characters there. Juggernaut, obviously, we recognise. Uh, some that I don't. Speedball, Stinger, Jubilee, Thunderstrike. Uh, nope, nope, don't recognise any of those. Um, but then again, I'm not a huge, huge comic book fan, so that's probably why. So, what else do we have? Parallel Worlds, comic booky stuff, Hydro Armour, Claws Underwater. Oh, hello. We've got Wolverine Claws. Mmm. Now, do you know, funnily enough, 
I always said one of the cool, one of the coolest kind of um, X Men. I mean, the coolest X Man is Wolverine. There's no doubt, no doubt whatsoever. And having that sort of healing factor and, and the big claws that go and pop out that that'd be amazing. Let's face it. Um, and the next best thing would be an Iron Man suit, fully operational, with Iron Man claws. And I did, in fact, say this. And what do you know? There is one. And that's the end of it. So. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this month's uh, episode of uh, Build the Iron Man by Fan Home. And we will see you in the next one. Bye bye for now.